Hey guys, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today's video is all going to be about rebuilding the carburetor for the uh, for the van. So right here I have the carb and I have g you're helping me. So this carburetor, it's feeding to a 360 uh, uh, V8, so very common engine. So it was kind of having a bad time come, coming down from the revs. So I'm just going to go ahead and start removing all this kind of like... The kick down gear, uh, accelerator, and then some other linkages, I don't know really much, but then I'm going to pull this vacuum advance off so this thing can come off. Go ahead and pull off the fuel line. I think I actually broke the fuel line a little bit because it was leaking a little bit of fuel on this end of the fitting, so I don't know. I might just snap it off the rest, I'll figure it out. Um, and then yeah, I'll start removing all the like, little uh, hoses and all that. And then get this thing off so I can get ready to um, rebuild it. So yeah, I'll cut to that. Okay, the carburetor is off. I have the carburetor right here. You can see that it's a two barrel. It's a two barrel 2245, which is the type of carburetor I have in my hand right now. It's leaking some fuel because, you know, it's a carburetor. <laughs> uh, I had a little trouble with this fuel line right here. So uh, I don't know if this fuel line's not good or anymore. So I'll find out. This gasket right here looks like it's total trash. It looks like it's just a gasket to, um, to the air filter. I don't know if they make those anymore, so let's find out. But yeah, here it is. You can kind of hear it a little bit. But yeah, let's just see if we can, uh, yeah, you can kind of get some action in there. We're going to see if we can kind of salvage it. So yeah, let's take it inside and start taking it apart. Okay, we're inside now. We have the carburetor all um, ready to go. I got all my tools. I got my little rebuild kit right here. I'll probably need that much later, probably even tomorrow. And then I have this great thing right here, Dunk Parts Cleaner. This thing is going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and remove all the parts, make sure there's no plastic and all that. I'm going to have the parts sit in that cleaner overnight and it should really deep clean these parts and make these parts look really, really clean and really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing all the parts and all this stuff so you, can, you guys can see it in time lapse. So yeah, check me there. Okay, so I got the top part off the um, a thing, off the carburetor, so you can kind of see the bowl right here. And you can see this bowl is nasty. I'm just going to grace my finger inside. Look at that. That was sitting inside of my carburetor. And I don't know if my jets are clogged, but I'm going to find out by uh, spraying some carb clean maybe in there or just letting it sit overnight. I'll figure it out. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just great take all the junk out real quick. Okay, so this is pretty much it. So you got your three main parts of your carb, and I guess your lower carb, your middle carb, I guess, and you got your bowls and all that, and then you got a bunch of jets and a bunch of lines and a bunch of holes. So this being my first time, you got your float, you got these kind of these needle tips right here. Um, so this being my first time, I kind of just like, I kind of just, what I did was kind of just found every crevice, every hole and sprayed uh, brake clean into it. And this is actually the only thing that I submerged inside of that gunk stuff. You can see how it's really clean and really nice looking compared to the rest of the stuff. It's because inside these jets, I'm looking at the carb rebuild kit and there's like little like O-rings and all that between everything. So I was afraid if I fully submerged one of these things into it, that it will eat away the gasket and I can never find it again because I don't know how to even get that. There's a jet right there in the middle. I have no idea how to even get that out of there. And I don't want to get these jets out. It's a bigger flathead screwdriver. But honestly, I, it was running fine before. It was just having that little issue when it's coming down the revs. revs. So hopefully this will fix that issue. I just kind of cleaned it up. Just kind of clean it up, sprayed uh, brake clean through all the holes and all that. Make sure there's no anything blocking it like that. See, I'm spraying it through all the holes right now and I'm getting zero resistance for the most part. So yeah, that's how the, that's how the gas enters into the, um, into the intake, see? That's where the gas will kind of spray into. So that's totally fine. So hopefully this should just do fine. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on the gasket skin and putting everything back together. So um, yeah, 
I'll get to that. Come with me. Come with me. You just play your song and I'll accompany. Company. We know the greatest things in life are free. So I invested my money in your company. Like where you wanna go, girl, I'll take you there. Let me put another flower in your hair. When I'm with you, I can't even have a care. Take all of my soul, I'm not afraid to shit. Like product and purchase, love like the breeze in these verses. Put all the men in these hearses. I love just watching you work it, splash on the beat and then surface. Bring it to life and then mark it. It has me losing my circus. The way you move it, hey, everybody stopping what they doing. Just to see the way that you be grooving. Hey, I made up my mind, there is no choosing. Okay, so yeah, so here is the carburetor. It's all cleaned up. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go around and tighten everything one more time to make sure everything's nice and tight. I got the entire mechanism back together. Get the vacuum vents all set up. Everything's back together for the most part. Let's hope that what I cleaned out is the problem. If not, it just probably needs to be adjusted which is, you got the adjusters right here, which is great because on the adjuster screws itself, it was so dirty, the clean part was like inside of the inside. So I, I just put it back to the same adjusting I had before, and I'm sure I'll just stay the same from there, and then um, after that, I'll adjust it from there. But yeah, it's fully cleaned out for the most part. So uh, I'll cut to um, when I'm going to be installing it back to the van. Okay, and we're back inside of the van. I just covered up the little intake hole so I don't have any debris or any trash falling inside of the intake. So, um, you can kind of see just kind of like a little mess around here. A little thing that is a cautionary thing that I'm doing right now is I'm actually reusing the old gasket that came onto like the, the, the little plate that sits between the carburetor and the intake. You can see the old gaskets right here. And there's a couple cracks in the gasket it's because the gasket they gave me for the bottom of the carburetor doesn't even fit and it has holes where I have vacuum channels and I don't want to have any vacuum leaks so I'm forced to use the old gasket and I hope it will do fine because I have no other choice so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing everything and looking at the pictures I've taken so I know how to put everything back together you know that's how it is. You take pictures and stuff, you take it apart, and then you put it back together. So over here, putting on the old gasket. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how you can never find parts for your car anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put on this carburetor. Look at that. Installing the entire carburetor like that. This is what gives this engine life. There you go. Now it's on. And then I'm going to go ahead and just tighten everything down. So yeah, I'll get to it.
Okay, so the carburetor is all together. Yeah, I know my hair is a complete mess right now. I'm gonna get a haircut right after this video, I swear. So right now you can see the carburetor is in. I actually already primed it by putting fuel inside of this little inlet so I can get the bowls, uh, you know, filled, I guess. And, you know, the chair is unbolted right now. So I've got my battery pack hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing's gonna crank over or not. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my GoPro right on this window right here. So you guys can see if this thing blows up and kills me. You guys can see it on camera. Close this door. Like that, okay? Let's see if this thing kills me or not. Ready? I should honestly be right here pumping the gas. Okay, that's not good. You can see that this fuel line right here is completely, close that door right there. This fuel line right here just sprayed fuel everywhere. You can see, yep, that's fuel. And I don't know if this fuel line is, did it go bad or something? Or I probably don't even have it even tightened on there correctly. But it started, so that's good. At least we're not taking, at least we're not going backwards. So yeah, let me time that fuel line and let me see that it's gonna fix the problem of squirting fuel everywhere. So yeah, so let me fix that. Okay, so I know it's really loud. I went ahead and fixed that fuel line. It's no longer squirting fuel everywhere. And now it's idling just fine. We're idling around 1100, which is kind of a little tad little high probably really loud but it's a tad little high so um, that's good I guess right now I'm blocking my trailer so I can't drive it yet so that's probably gonna be the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and exit the van it's really loud over here so yeah that is probably that's probably gonna be the end of the video because I rebuilt the car I got it running again you can see I got my little jump pad right there. So yeah, that's probably just the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. A nice little time lapse of me working on the van. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.